Hey guys, another video from the Wizard 3000 here. Um, I am giving you what I told you I would give. So, we have a review on Modern Warfare 3. We've done a review on Battlefield 3. So, Modern Warfare 3. I think 2011 was a year of threes. So we had Modern Warfare 3, Battlefield 3, um, any other films. We had Transformers 3. Um, is there anything else? Anything, nothing I can think of. Anyway. So, yeah. Anyway, let's have a look what we got. Realism. Basically, I don't think it's... Straight away, I don't think this game's realistic enough. I mean, come on. I mean, you know. There's no motion blur whatsoever. You can zoom in way too fast. Looks like you're having a mini epileptic fit. Um, if, you pay, if you're paying good money... Most of you guys, most of you guys will probably have like really good systems to play this on. You'll be, be if you spend a lot of money, you're going to want to be playing it in like max graphics. And considering the graphics on this, even though these are on max, it's not that great. So I think they could have done a hell of a lot better with this. Right, what else we got? I, I also I don't think the stories are not the storyline, but the actual implementation of. Like encounters and stuff. Because, I mean, let's be honest, I'm just basically just walking through here. That would never happen in real life. Because, I mean, let's be honest, they're just waiting behind there. Yeah, in Battlefield 3, you know, you feel you feel more of a team effort. You know, you feel like you actually do it. Alright, let's throw this back. You feel it's actually making a difference when. Not f making a difference, but you're actually helping out your teammates, even though they are actually AIs. So. So yeah, all right. Let's see where we go. And they hardly have these. These oh, I'm running away. Killed by a grenade earlier. I don't. I don't like grenades in this game. They have too far of a explosion radius. All right. Ah, so we've done gameplay and we've done realism. What else can we do? Um, online. I haven't actually had a chance to play online yet, so I will give you guys an update on that in a further video once I try that out but also I found out what's early and I did in on the SOPA video the bonus SOPA video I did a thing on oh, what was it? spec ops and that was that's quite fun they don't have that on battlefield which which that's one reason why battlefield uh, modern warfare it's one place where modern warfare outweighs battlefield so yeah, because it's like, once you complete the main storyline, you can, like, go back and, like, own everyone up in the special Spec Ops. Aw. Oh, damn it. Alright, some things you can't concentrate very well on. And I think this and talking are one of them. Right, so let's get rid of this guy. And alright, we're all there. That guy's saved. Problem done. Problem done. That guy's dead. Problem done. Does that mean it make any sense? Yeah, it does now. So yeah, basically, uh, it's not very in-depth review because I don't know. Just I don't think I'm hyper enough today. When I usually make my videos, I'm usually hyper, so I usually have a lot to talk about. But today I'm not. So yeah. <sighs> right. Let's have. Oh. Oh, blacking out. Oh, I don't like cutscenes. I hate them. So boring. I know they tell you about the story, but I usually just play through the game and then read up on the story online anyway, so... Ah, <sighs> right. Yeah, guys, I can't think of anything else to talk to because I'm not a great fan of this game. So, this has been The Wizard 3000. If you enjoyed this, like, sub, and uh, favourite the video. Thank you very much. I'll see you again. Bye.